Hi, my name is Samantha and today I'm going to be showing you how to cook air fryer baby potatoes. They are literally about to pop when they are served. They are absolutely amazing, they are wrinkled up and you will absolutely love them. And they are ideal for air fryer addicts like me. Have you tried the air fryer free mini course? Are you new to the air fryer? Let me introduce you to our five day free quick start mini course. It answers a lot of beginner air fryer questions, gives you simple air fryer recipes to follow and helps you get confident with your air fryer. You can get it for free at recipethis.com forward slash ebooks or search recipethis.com for air fryer mini course. So when you're doing air fry baby potatoes, they are like uh, mini baked potatoes. They go all wrinkly and crispy and they are delicious. First of all, you need a bag of baby potatoes. I load them into a bowl first because then you can properly season them and mix them before you load them into the air fry basket. You can use whatever seasonings you want but I do recommend sea salt because otherwise the potatoes can be really bland. And today I'm using sea salt, some ground pepper and some oregano. You can mix this up, you could use sage, you could use rosemary, you could use thyme. You could make it spicy if you wanted, you could just do whatever you want with it. Just use this as the basic recipe and then alter it for whatever you're eating. So, once you've got all your seasonings in, it's time for some extra virgin olive oil. I use half a tablespoon in this recipe and just throw it in and then mix your potatoes. feel you haven't got enough seasoning in you can go back and add some more for example i'm going to add some more oregano give it a bit more color but it's totally up to you what you add and how seasoned you want to be. so you've got your potatoes now it's time to throw them in the air fryer basket and then make sure that you've got space for them all and then put it on. I'm going with 190 Celsius, 360 Fahrenheit because this helps crisp them and cook them at the same time. And then I'm going to start with a cook time of 17 minutes and then see how they're doing. And we baked. Wow. Oh, can you see the lovely brown on the potatoes? And wow, on the fork, they're fantastic. I always check to make sure that when you place them on the fork, they're properly cooked. If it's going through the fork, it's good. And we've got a lovely, lovely crisp on them as well. What I recommend is if you want them that little bit crispier, um, that you add an extra bit of olive oil to them. Or you can use an olive oil spray and then put them in for about three more minutes at 200 celsius 400 fahrenheit because that can make such a difference so let's just give them that a little bit longer and we've beeped oh and now this is the crisp i'm talking about you know when you can kind of hear it as you're touching it, the fork, because it's just so crispy and lovely. These are just fantastic. Like I say, they're just like little baked potatoes. You're following a similar recipe as you do when you're baking potatoes in the air fryer, but obviously doing a miniature version. And then you could crisp them up some more if you wanted to. You know, you could give them another five minutes if you wanted. Just depends on how crispy you like your potatoes. I love them golden like this with crispy skin but not overly crispy. So that's how I'll be serving them in the Milner house for dinner tonight. Today's recipe is all part of one of our themes that we're running at the moment. It's called 12 Idiot Proof Air Fryer Recipes. 
Not my choice of title, but one of my readers asked me for air fry recipes that were idiot proof, that was so simple that a child could do them. And that's what today's recipes are about. The reason we run themes on our YouTube channel is so that we can focus on a certain type of cooking. You can scroll through our videos and then see which one best applies to you. And then you can pick and choose which ones of our air fry recipes you are going to recreate at home. Thanks so much for watching. We would love it if you joined the Recipe This family. You can get as involved as you like. You're welcome to follow us on Facebook or Pinterest. Join our Facebook groups, we have two. Join our Kitchen Gadgets newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to ding the bell for instant notifications. Or check out our podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets and is a great way to listen along as we talk about the magic of cooking with kitchen gadgets. Even better, if you head over to recipethis.com, you'll find more than a thousand kitchen gadget recipes. Think air fryer, instant pot, soup maker, slow cooker, bread maker and more.